I'm Golden. I came around the corner of the house and I saw this young raccoon down the back stairs from stealing some of the cat's food. Look at him go. Look at him. He's not going to make the corner. Whoa, come on, baby. He caught his balance. Thought he was going to lose it for a moment. You see, this is an Italian rosemary. This is called Tuscan Blue and it's used for cooking Italian recipes and delightful things. We're going to take this and plant it at a client's place. She loves the rosemary and unfortunately here in the Pacific Northwest rosemary dies off like almost annually. It seems like lately anyway so we're gonna go plant that for her. The woman loves to cook. She loves to use uh, rosemary and if she's not content with simply having the Italian Tuscan blue over here we have the lovely English rosemary. You can see the tag there. This here, this is the Officina, Officinalis, that's how you say it, which is the English equivalent and can only be used for cooking in English dishes. Yeah, if you switch them around and you use the Italian in an English dish and you use the English in, like, say, spaghetti, which would be traditionally an Italian meal, it's a violation of some kind of European culinary treaty that we have. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact specifications indicated in the treaty. Uh, obviously, I'm not a politician. You have to keep the English with the English and the Irish with the Italian. <laughs> you have to keep the Italian with the Italian. And you leave the Irish alone and you just let them be.